know what's poppin', Lush Gang? You know that this shit is doing every motherfucking day. Uh, Do you know that here in the Lush Gang vlogs, we keeping it lit. We are keeping our dick soft as a motherfucking washcloth. <laughs> it's the bottom of my foot. And we always pee sitting down because you know we keep it lit. And it is Hang on. Damn. Bruh. Make sure you copy yourself my new Lush Gang merch, www.lushgang.com forward slash merch, because you know we are the strongest family on YouTube. This one, fuck it. Ah! Hey guys, uh, it's Leon Lush, and welcome to another video. I apologize if I feel uh, or sound or look a little exasperated. That intro really, really took it out of me. Uh, I don't know how Logan Paul <clears throat> has enough energy to act like that all day, every day, for every single one of his vlogs. It's truly impressive. Now, this video is going to be about his milestone. The fact that Logan Paul hit 10 million subscribers in 340 days, which is the fastest any YouTube channel has ever reached that diamond play button status. So it's pretty remarkable. Now the Paul brothers over the last several months have received a plethora of hate. Some of it deserved and some of it, in my opinion, undue. Because anytime you have a, a creator or a YouTuber that rises to notoriety this quickly, 10 million in less than a year, uh, there is going to be a large portion of the YouTube community that tries to get involved in the discussion. I mean, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm making a fucking video about Jake Paul's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a video about Logan Paul's 10 million subscribers in 340 days video. But I want to bring it with a level head. I want to approach this topic uh, with a sound mind. I don't necessarily dislike Logan Paul. I understand his appeal. For the millions of people that follow him, he's uh, very in your face. He's very fucking jump cut city, man. I mean, it's every fucking video, every vlog that he does, there is not a clip in the video longer than two and a half seconds. In fact, I just came up with a fun little game that I want to try out with Nigel. Uh, it's called Every Time There's a Jump Cut in a Logan Paul Vlog, I Punch Nigel in the Face. Let's give it a shot. So many jump cuts. I hate this game. I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not making this video to elicit, you know, disdain or any negative feelings for Logan Paul. I simply am making this video because of the phenomenon of reaching 10 million subscribers in 340 days, which is a remarkable accomplishment, regardless of how you do it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not like he's fucking killing baby seals or trafficking children across international borders and selling them into sex slavery. He just makes some very fucking fast cut vlogs suited for young kids with ADHD, I guess. So let's roll, uh, let's look at a little bit and we'll see, we'll... Well, uh, what? Just roll it. Hey, how are you, internet? It's me, Logan Paul! I know what you're thinking. Logan, how did you trick the entire internet, internet, into subscribing to your channel? I guess Kind of freaking out a little bit, Brendan. Why? What, bro? Do you even know? Brendan, look, dog, dude, we are 9,000 subscribers away from hitting 10 million subscribers. So we are only 40 seconds into this 14 minute vlog, and I mean, this fucker is cooking with gas. The energy level is super nova right now. I'm just getting tired. From watching it, Jesus Christ, I'm like out of breath just sitting in my computer chair like a fat old man that I am. If I had a tenth of the energy that this motherfucker puts on for his vlogs every day, I'd probably shed this fat and become a marathon runner and start doing triathlons. I swear to I kid you, I kid, I, I kid you not, I kid you not, I kid you not. I'm not fucking kidding! I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> I was just like, I don't even know what to do right now, so I just... Brick play freaking the Dent the Universe exclusive Maverick like that's what we're doing guys every day like literally we are denting the universe one broken plate at a time one vlog at a time because yo it's every day dude oh! it's just it's going down so I'm just gonna stay the amount <laughs> hey, good morning <laughs> life's different when you have 10 million subscribers man like 
So a lot of this vlog is very indicative of his style of vlogging in general that he uploads every single day. I mean, you get smashing plates, high energy, kicking chairs, jump cut, jump cut, shower with my clothes on, jump cut, hot chick, jump cut, more smashing plates. It's just crazy. He's like, he's performing all the time. Everything he does is a performance, right? And I get that on YouTube. You want to like make entertaining content for your fans <clears throat> or your gang. So you want to, you know, you want to put on a little bit of a show and I do a little bit of that myself in my videos where I overemphasize things. I move my fucking arms a lot, but I try to also maintain a little bit of a center, right? Where I can talk normally to people into the camera without having to fucking jump around and flail my arms like a wacky inflatable tube arm flailing arm flailing wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man but it grabs your attention it keeps you engaged it draws you in and you can't look away because if you look away for more than a second jump cut you might miss something you might miss that next jump cut that next jumping off a balcony into a pool that next plate smashing onto the ground and we can't have that so jump cut i'm not knocking his style i think that it's very effective very very effective clearly as demonstrated by this milestone that he hit i just think that to be in performance mode all the time every single day you always have a camera in your face and you're always performing for the camera for your audience i just feel like you eventually have to burn out and crash and burn like with a massive fucking nosedive there becomes a point where you just can't do that anymore i think it is it's my big day 10 million bro straight up 340 bucks well, yeah, am I out here or what? Fact. Anyways, dude, I think the time... Yeah, what? No, he, he's not gonna hit it before me. No, I, I beat him to 10 million for sure. <laughs> it's, it is, it's almost time to celebrate. So I think, I think, bro, I'm gonna get ready. Then we're gonna hit 10 million, dude. So he has this bird that he talks to called Maverick, which I have a little bit of a soft spot for because I have a baby monkey that I talk to called Nigel. So I can relate to, to the, dy the dynamic, the dynamic that he has with his bird. It's just, I mean... It's kind of lame because Nigel's real and Maverick is not. So he needs to step his game up a little bit. But uh, Nigel, how do you feel about birds anyways in general? What do you think about birds? Birds are gay, bro. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with you. I prefer baby monkeys. It's just, it's, it's jump cut, cut, jump, jump. No, no, no. So the rest of the video is typical Logan Paul vlog. He uh, goes to a barbecue with some friends. He plugs his merch about... 2,000 times and then he has a little sit down at the end where he tries to act serious and have like a conversation with his subscribers But he can't really he doesn't he's struggles acting serious, but uh, he says thank you You know for all of this and I work hard and I'm surrounded by great people and etc etc And that's pretty much it great video Leon. You're really you're really breaking down the fucking content barriers with this video you unoriginal fucking prick now, I think it's important to note that Logan Paul was pretty well renowned before he even started vlogging on YouTube. Uh, back when I used to use Facebook several years ago, oh, times were tough. Times, times were tough back then. Uh, I remember seeing videos of him circulating on Facebook that had like 60, 70 million views. There was one called Splitting New York where he just. went around and did like splits in public places in New York City and it was like this massive viral sensation. So he was kind of a viral star before coming to YouTube. So when he came to YouTube with the vlogs, he had all of this momentum, all of this fan base coming with him. And then he uploaded every single day, you know, 15 to 20 minute videos, which is ripe for YouTube's algorithm. And it's just like everything, all of the pieces, all the ingredients were perfect for him to explode as a YouTuber and the same goes for his brother. I'm not going to talk about Jake because he's a, he's a different beast altogether in my opinion. But I think as far as Logan Paul goes, I mean, congratulations on your 10 million. Uh, I think, you know, your, his vlogging style is, is not necessarily what I appreciate and love about YouTube. But it is, uh, I do understand the appeal to, to a younger generation and why it's so engaging for these kids, the way it's shot and the way it's done. So I wanna know what you guys think about Logan Paul, about his vlogs, about the content that he makes on YouTube. What do you think about Logan Paul being the first channel to ever hit 10 million subscribers in the first year of uploading YouTube videos? 
Let me know in the comments below because as you know, it's becoming a meme at this point. I read every single comment and generally heart every single comment to show that I've read it. Uh, I really appreciate all the interaction I get in my videos and I love fucking around with you guys in the comments. So let me know what you think. And on that motherfucking note, jump cut. Let's roll down to the comments of this Logan Paul video. Just real quick. It's not going to be a long comments reading. <laughs> but I want to see if we can find any good ones before I, uh, <laughs> before I sign off. I like men. Top tier commenter right here. Off to a good start. I hate it when he throws plates because my five-year-old brother went through a glass. He thought the door was open, so he broke the door and he got stitches of the glass in his veins. He would be dead. Thank you, God. What? What? Vongan, there's a girl on YouTube who made a story about her life story. Kinda. Her channel is Team 10 Radio. Please go watch it. Thank you. Peace. Oh, man. Fandoms are just precious, aren't they? What the fuck? And finally, my good friend Sarah Beth McGowan says, I really want to meet him. He is my inspiration. I am a maverick. I told my friends that's not my friend anymore to stop bullying my friends. My family does not have enough money to pay for piano lessons. Now I can play the piano pretty well. I love you so much, Logan. <laughs> uh, that was a beautiful mashup of very unrelated things top 10 comments of all time. Thank you so much, Sarah Beth. As always, it's been an absolute treat to be with you guys here for a few minutes. Thanks for watching. If you could, as usual, just slide right down underneath the video and gently, gently hip thrust that like button just enough so it ticks blue and then go down a bit further and leave a comment. And I love you to death. Uh, stay tuned. I appreciate all the support on my recent uploads. And uh, YouTube, uh, the YouTube gods have been shining on me lately, and I've been seeing some recommended action. So that feels good. I'm going to try to keep making videos um, with some more music on the way, with commentaries in between. As always, Nigel generally has something ubiquitous to say before we go. So what do you think, bud? You should have put product in your hair. Absolute scumbag. I'm fucking rude.